Imagine if I told you one meal might boost your brain and possibly lower your risk of cognitive decline by up to 53%. Sounds too good to be true, right? But what if I also mentioned that this same meal might boost your mood, protect against heart disease, and even help you maintain a healthy weight? Now, let's discuss some surprising facts about our brains before we dig into this superfood that will boost them. Though only 2% of your body weight, your brain uses an amazing 20% of all the energy in your body. Also, some areas of your brain can actually regrow and regenerate against common belief. You might now be thinking, I've heard all kinds of claims about brain function before. How is this different? Well, suppose I told you that age-adjusted death rates from Alzheimer's disease had a 55-fold increase starting in 1980. That's right, 55 times. Shocking, isn't it? The worst part is that our lifestyle choices, rather than some unknown toxin or pollutant, are mostly responsible for this dramatic rise. More importantly, starting today, regardless of your age, you could make small dietary changes that would greatly affect the health of your brain. Stick around if these questions spark your curiosity and you want to know more about how your diet might help to preserve and improve brain function. We're going to delve deeply into the science of brain nutrition and reveal the one meal that might revolutionize your cognitive function most of all. Let's now address insulin resistance, the elephant in the room. You've most likely heard this term used, especially in discussions about diabetes. But did you know that dementia and cognitive decline are also quite strongly linked to insulin resistance? In fact, people with type 2 diabetes have a much higher chance of developing dementia. What then exactly? is insulin resistance. Think of insulin as the key opening the doors of your cells to let glucose inside. In a healthy person, this process runs smoothly. In someone with insulin resistance, however, it's as if a bunch of noisy kids are running through your body's hallways, making the cells deaf to insulin's knocking. The resulting higher blood sugar levels can, over time, wreak havoc on your body and brain. The good news is that diet can significantly help to prevent and manage insulin resistance. This is where our brain-boosting superfood comes in. Are you ready for the big reveal? Wild-caught salmon is the one food which is the best for your brain function. You might now be thinking salmon? Really? But hear me out. Salmon, especially wild-caught, is a nutritional powerhouse for brain function. Here's why. First, salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, mainly DHA and EPA. These fatty acids are crucial for brain structure and function. In fact, DHA makes up about 20% of the roughly 60% of your brain that consists of fat. Think of DHA as your brain cell building blocks. Without enough DHA, your brain cells can't communicate effectively, which over time can lead to cognitive decline. Second, omega-3s reduce inflammation in the brain and body. Chronic inflammation is a major driver of cognitive decline and many other health issues. It's like having a low-grade fire burning nonstop in your body, slowly damaging tissues and cells. The omega-3s in salmon help put out that fire, protecting your brain from damage. Third, salmon is an excellent source of high-quality protein that provides the building blocks for brain neurotransmitter production. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that allow your brain cells to communicate with each other. Without enough protein, your brain can't create these vital messengers, which can affect everything from, from your memory to your mood. Fourth, wild-caught salmon gets its pink color from astaxanthin, a powerful antioxidant. This molecule protects your brain cells from free radical damage. Think of free radicals as the rust on your body. They cause oxidative stress that can damage your cells over time. Astaxanthin acts like a shield, protecting your brain cells from harm. However, it's not just about eating salmon here. It's about incorporating it into a broader brain healthy diet. This is where the MIND diet comes in. MIND stands for Mediterranean DASH Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. This diet is designed specifically to support brain function and reduce the risk of cognitive decline. The MIND diet emphasizes foods like green leafy vegetables, other colorful vegetables, berries, nuts, whole grains, fish, poultry, olive oil, and even a glass of wine a day. 
At the same time, it recommends limiting foods high in saturated and trans fats, as well as sugary foods and refined carbohydrates. Let's break down some of these components. Green, leafy vegetables. Things like spinach, kale, and collard greens are packed with nutrients, including vitamin K, lutein, folate, and beta-carotene. These nutrients have been linked to slower cognitive decline. Aim for at least one serving daily. Berries, especially blueberries and strawberries, are rich in flavonoids that may improve memory. Eat berries at least twice a week. Nuts are a great source of healthy fats, protein, and fiber. They're also rich in vitamin E, which has been linked to better cognitive function. Aim for five servings of nuts per week. Whole grains provide your brain with a steady stream of energy, unlike refined grains, which can cause blood sugar spikes. Try to get at least three servings daily. Fish. As we've covered, salmon and other fatty fish are brain superfoods. Aim for at least one serving per week. Olive oil is rich in antioxidants and monounsaturated fats, which may help reduce inflammation. Use it as your primary cooking oil. I can guess what you might be thinking now. This sounds great, but I don't like vegetables, or I can't afford wild-caught salmon all the time. Don't worry. The key is to start small and make changes gradually. Maybe begin by swapping fish for red meat once a week or adding a small salad to one meal a day. Remember, when it comes to brain health, every little action counts. And here's another thing to consider. While we focused mostly on what to eat, we should also pay close attention to what to avoid. The Mind Diet recommends limiting red meat. Try to have it no more than four times a week. Butter and margarine. Less than one tablespoon daily, use olive oil instead. Cheese, less than once per week. Pastries and sweets, no more than five servings a week. Fried or fast food, less than once per week. These foods are high in saturated and trans fats, which can worsen insulin resistance and inflammation, thereby accelerating cognitive decline. So next time you're reaching for that fried meal or sugary snack, pause and ask yourself, is this feeding my brain or potentially harming it? You might now be wondering about supplements. While omega-3 supplements have gotten a lot of attention, food should always come first. The combination of nutrients found in whole foods like salmon usually provides benefits that can't be replicated by single supplements. That said, if you're vegan or vegetarian, or if you struggle to eat enough fatty fish, an omega-3 supplement might be beneficial. Now let's talk a little more about how this relates to insulin resistance. Remember those noisy kids in the hallway? Well, the foods in the mind diet, especially the omega-3 rich salmon, can help quiet those kids down. They improve insulin sensitivity, allowing your cells to respond more effectively to insulin's knocking. This not only protects against type 2 diabetes, but also shields your brain from the damaging effects of chronically high blood sugar. But it's not just about diet. Regular exercise, quality sleep, and mental stimulation are also crucial for brain health. Think of it as a whole body approach because your brain doesn't exist in isolation. It's connected to every part of your body. For instance, exercise increases blood flow to your brain, delivering more oxygen and nutrients. It also boosts the production of growth factors, molecules that promote the formation of new brain cells and new connections between them. Even a brisk 30 minute walk five days a week can make a big difference. Quality sleep is when your brain does its housekeeping. During deep sleep, your brain clears out toxins that have accumulated during the day. Chronic sleep deprivation has been linked to an increased risk of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Mental stimulation, like learning a new skill, doing puzzles, or engaging in stimulating conversations, helps build cognitive reserve. Think of this as your brain's backup system. The more cognitive reserve you have, the more resilient your brain is to potential damage or decline. Now let's circle back to our superfood, salmon. 
How can you incorporate more of it into your diet? Here are a few ideas. One, grilled salmon with quinoa and roasted vegetables. Two, salmon salad made with canned wild salmon, mixed greens, and a vinaigrette dressing. Three, smoked salmon on whole grain toast topped with avocado. Four, salmon sushi rolls. Just go easy on the white rice. And five, salmon and vegetable stir fry with brown rice. Remember, variety is key. While salmon is incredibly healthy, you wouldn't want to eat it every day. Aim for two to three servings of fatty fish per week and mix it up with other varieties like sardines, mackerel, and trout. Let me share a story from one of my friends, Sarah. Sarah, which is in her mid-50s, worried about her family history of Alzheimer's. She was starting to experience some minor memory issues and was concerned about her cognitive future. We worked together to implement the MIND diet, focusing on getting her more fatty fish like salmon. A few months later, Sarah reported feeling mentally sharper and more energetic. Her memory issues had cleared up, and as a bonus, she lost a few pounds. This was, was an example of the great impact these dietary changes can have. On, on brain function. Another friend, Tom, was, was initially skeptical. He was a meat and potatoes kind of guy, so the idea of regularly eating fish and leafy greens didn't hold much appeal. However, after learning about the science behind the MIND diet and the importance of omega-3s for brain function, he decided to give it a try. He discovered he loved spinach salads and surprisingly found he enjoyed the taste of grilled salmon. More importantly, after a few months on the diet, Tom noticed improvements in his overall mental clarity and focus. These stories illustrate the real-world effects that dietary changes can have on brain function. But don't just take my word for it. Why not try it for yourself? Start by incorporating one or two servings of fatty fish per week and see how you feel. You might be surprised by the difference it can make. As we wrap up, let's recap the key points. The health of your brain is largely determined by your diet and lifestyle. Incorporating brain-boosting foods like wild-caught salmon, a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, whole grains and healthy fats can go a long way in protecting your cognitive health. And just as important is limiting foods that promote inflammation and insulin resistance to help slow cognitive decline. Remember, it's never too late to start taking care of your brain. Whether you're 25 or 75, the food choices you make today can impact your cognitive function for years to come. The brain has an amazing ability to adapt and change, a feature known as neuroplasticity. By feeding your brain the right nutrients and maintaining a healthy lifestyle, you can help it stay strong and sharp as you age. Think of every time you choose salmon over a burger or a handful of blueberries over a cookie as making a deposit in your brain health savings account. Over time, these small decisions add up and could reduce your risk of cognitive decline by over 50%. Now that's what I call a good return on investment. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What stands out to you most from this information? Do you feel inspired to change your diet for better brain function? Maybe you'd like to share a favorite salmon recipe, or perhaps you're struggling to implement a brain healthy diet and need some tips? Leave a comment below. Your insights might just inspire or help someone else on their brain health journey. If you found this information helpful, remember to like and subscribe for more health and nutrition related content. Until next time, keep feeding that beautiful brain of yours.